Well, good evening, everybody. So tonight, I want to look at setting up Solar Assistant to be a real-time monitor for my EG4 6000 XP. So let's get started. So for those of you that might not know what Solar Assistant is, it's a real-time monitoring software that you load onto a Raspberry Pi, a little microcomputer. And then that microcomputer connects to various devices, whether it's batteries, inverters, and it gets all the information from those devices and then it can display it in easy to understand charts and graphs. And I'll link to a video that I did a while ago on the Solar Assistant interface for those of you that might be interested in learning a little bit more about it. Now with Solar Assistant, you can purchase just the software and then install it on your own Raspberry Pi, or you can purchase a full-blown package of an Orange Pi, a different version of the Raspberry Pi microcomputer, with the Solar Assistant software preloaded on it. And I know that you can purchase those from Watts 24-7, and I'll, I'll link to those as well. But in my case, I have my old copy of Solar Assistant that I used when I had my EG4 6500s. And back then, you had to wire a connection from each inverter to the Raspberry Pi. Now, I haven't researched this other than the little that I've heard off of the DIY Solar Forums. But supposedly, the Raspberry Pi pulls all the data from the 6500 XP over a wireless connection. No more wires. No more extra cables that you have to buy, which is it's pretty nice because it's already broadcasting for your EG4 monitoring software. So why not use the same connection for the Raspberry Pi and Solar Assistant? So let's take a look. I'm just going to set my Raspberry Pi right here on my wireway. I haven't used this cable in a while. I used to have a buck converter for this, but I ended up grabbing that buck converter and I'm using that for my remote shutdown. So we're just going to plug that in here and turn it on. Again, no wires. It's already connected to the Wi-Fi and everything. And so that should just boot up not like normal. So I'm gonna open my Solar Resistant app and it auto logs me in. And there's no, no data, no nothing being displayed because nothing's connected to Solar Assistant. So I'll go to the gear. So we're gonna click on model and we're gonna select Lux Power. It's local network connection and there's no, no items found on the network right now. So we're gonna click configure local connections. And on this page, we need to enter in the logger serial and then the inverter serial. And those are both printed on the side of the inverter. So your logger serial number is gonna be SN on your data logger. And then on the sticker with the barcode on the side of your inverter, it's gonna have an SN as well for your inverter serial number. And once you have those entered, hit add. And it's gonna start scan in the network for those devices. We'll come back to the configuration page, go to model, Lux power. And in my case, it says that it's not found. So I'm wondering if it's case sensitive. So we're gonna come in here. Oh, it actually found something already. It found something that was case sensitive. So I'm going to remove the one that I entered. Go back to the page. So there's the Lux Power local network. It found the one with my specific IP address. And I'm going to hit save and connect. And then our status is connected. I wonder what settings this has. Driver serial number. Okay, input output settings so we can set our charge settings. Oh, it's pulling them from the inverter. Generator settings, discharge settings, timer settings. Cool. So now if I come back to the main page, 
We're in EPS backup mode. We've got our grid connection, our load connection, our solar, our battery. Very cool. We can have our charts. Power management for Lux Power Inverter is currently under development. It will be available in a future update. So yeah, your settings, your configuration settings are all back under the configuration page. And not everything is available in Solar Assistant to be able to control the inverter. For a lot of the settings, you, you, you probably have to use the EG4 Monitor app, of which they did recently make a big change. And they added, I want to say, almost all or even all of the installer settings are now available under the regular user account. So you no longer need an installer account to be able to control everything using the EG4 Monitor app, which is a huge plus. But I've always liked Solar Assistant, and so it's gonna be nice to be able to see some real-time data and to be able to get in and play around with this. But again, no wires. That's nice. So. Short, sweet, simple. I kind of like that. <laughs> Hopefully this was helpful for some. Really, I mean, once you have the Solar Assistant software connecting the 6000 XP, and I believe it's the same for the 18K PV, it's simple. Just, the biggest thing is you just have to make sure they're both on the same network so that Solar Assistant can find the inverter. And with that, I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and we'll catch up with you later.